Hi team, Master Cell here, and happy Monday to everyone. Hey, I was just chatting with one of our Spartans, and uh, we were talking about, you know, what should I choose? I'm conflicted. You hear one expert say you should do month-to-month -month programs, and others say that you should do contracts. So it got me thinking of, you know, who's right? Which expert is right? Both are right. Month-to-month, -month, contracts, doesn't really matter. I don't think. I'm just giving you my opinion and how I've done things. Ran schools for 23 years and, uh, you know, I struggled and I've succeeded greatly. And uh, I don't think it had anything to do. They're not going to get what they came to me for. They're not. You know, as soon as something gets tough, they're going to quit. As soon as something comes along, they're going to quit. As soon as the next shiny object comes along that disrupts them, they're going to quit. And so what I have to do is I have to get them to commit. So let's do contracts, right? Well, let's just wait a second here, okay? I don't think that I've ever signed a contract and my life changed. So it's not contracts either. So what is it for me? Well, it's in my mind that I've made a commitment to myself to complete something that's totally changed my life. So, you know, for years, and I'm not the only one that's done this. A lot of people have done this. A lot of people have followed the same path that I'm about to tell you. So this is not something that I've invented, but I understand it thoroughly. I understand how powerful it can be. You start someone off on a very low commitment, all right? Because they don't know you, they don't like you, they don't trust you. They walked in off the street or they saw your ad or they, uh, they called you on the phone and they don't know how amazing you are. They don't know that, that you've changed people's lives that had the same issues that they have right now. They don't know that, so they, they have to learn that. And the only way to learn that is to come in and start training. But a lot of people are very apprehensive. They're scared, they're fearful. They're fearful that you know they're gonna pick the wrong school. They're fearful that they're not gonna be able to afford it. They think that they're, you know, they got so many, they're afraid they're gonna look dumb wearing one of those karate pajamas and yelling and stuff like that. I mean, they just have all these fears. So as a martial arts instructor that deeply cares about them, I have some work to do. The first thing that I have to do is I have to lower their fears, lower their guard. They walk in with all this fear and apprehension, their guard is up high. And my job, if I really wanna help them, is to not just sell them karate lessons, but to make them feel comfortable, right?